Fake it till you make it art school is made possible with the help of coffee. Tips are greatly appreciated and help keep the show running. Fake it till you make it art school is a bi-weekly show on art. Today's topic is a bit controversial, so do get ready. So, what is the CalArt style? The term itself refers to cartoons made in the 2010s where the lines are thin, new arms are present, and the most infamous feature involves being faces. CalArts refers to the California Institute of the Art. It is one of, if not the most prestigious art school in America. Notable alumni from the school include, but are not limited to, Tim Burton, Steven Hillenburg, Alex Hirsch, J.G. Quintel, Gennady Tartavosky, Craig McCracken, and Pendleton Ward. The term itself was coined in the 90s by none other than the infamous pain in the ass to work with, inflated ego, and pedophile himself, John Crickfalusi. <laughs> Although, it didn't make it into the mainstream until a post was made on his blog in 2010. He used it to describe animation that he hated, which included The Iron Giant and The Incredibles. Yeah, those movies that everyone loved was dubbed CalArt style by that shameful display. So it was already doomed from the start to be a derogatory term to refer to animation people didn't like. It kind of reminds me of how people would bitch and moan about the Tumblr art style and how apparently it was making art, quote, ugly and SJWE. Which, yes offense, if you say the word SJW unironically, then your opinion on anything does not matter. I guess we're not allowed to look at references for people with different body shapes aside from big titties and thin waist. God forbid we show the flaws of human beings in art instead of amplifying the impossible standards of beauty. What started the argument was the announcement of a new cartoon called Thundercats Roar. At the time, there was only a trailer for the show and the internet collectively lost their shit. They accused the show of being a fine example of Cal art style and that it was being dumbed down for kids, even though Thundercats was always a show for kids, but whatever. Don't want to destroy your rose-tinted goggles. What also didn't help was that Cartoon Network did see a reboot of Thundercats in 2011, but didn't last very long. Why? No one watched it and it suffered from what I like to call the Avatar Syndrome in that shows would try to emulate the success of Avatar The Last Airbender without understanding what made the show so good. What so many people who cry CalArt style at everything don't understand is that cartoons have always had stylistic trends. The 30s and 40s were all about rubber hose animation. The 60s and 70s had cartoons with thick outlines and people making rip-offs of Hanna-Barbera cartoons. The 80s was all about muscular people and making 22-minute long toy commercials. The 90s was all about trying to be the next Ren and Stimpy. The 2000s saw the return of thick outlines and everyone was trying to be like anime. The point is that trends come and go. Eventually, this style of animation is going to be replaced with another style. While on the subject of styles, let's talk about one show that gets lumped in with the CalArt style brand, The Amazing World of Gumball. Even though I am not a fan of this show, I can at least admire the various styles that it adopts. It doesn't restrict itself to just 2D animation. It experiments with a wide variety of animation styles such as 3D and even using puppets. Hell, they even got Studio Trigger to animate a scene for the show. Another thing is that not all of the artists working on these shows even went to CalArt. Rebecca Sugar, creator of Steven Universe, went to the School of Visual Arts in New York. Gumball's creator, Ben Quole, isn't even from America. He went to school outside the United States. While there are similarities between styles and newer shows, it does not mean that there is a CalArts conspiracy. Trends come and go, and this rings true for TV animation. If you're someone who has a screeching tantrum over a TV show having an art style that you don't like, then you're just a sad person who needs to go outside more often. The sun misses you. And that about wraps up this episode of Fake It Till You Make It Art School. This was a more aggressive episode than usual, but the argument of CalArt style has been hijacked by so many bad critics that I felt the need to throw my two cents in there. With that being said, check out my channel for more content, and until then, 
I'll see you guys next time.